YouTube, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna show you how I removed a collection off my credit report in 24 hours. Now, this is not a substitution from the traditional way of sending out letters, waiting, sending out more letters, and waiting even longer. But before you go that long, drown out route, try the easy steps first, this being one of them. And if it doesn't work, then send your letters. So if you're trying to get your credit together or just want the drop of all the latest financial news, you've came to the right place. This is a great channel to have in your back pocket, covering everything from credit repair, high limit credit cards, side hustles, passive income, and more. All right, so here we go. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is identify the collection we wanna work with. So you can go to either Credit Karma or Experian. Credit Karma has your TransUnion and your Equifax credit report. Experian has only your Experian credit report. All right, so I'm here at Credit Karma. I identified the collection I wanna work with. Now we gotta go to the BBB. I will have everything linked in my description if you wanna check that out. So we're here at the BBB. We're gonna click on File a Complaint. Click on I'd like to file a complaint against a business and have the BBB help me get a resolution to my problem. We don't wanna click on any of these three right here. We wanna make sure we click on this one. So from here, we're gonna enter the business name that we wanna file a complaint against. If you can't find them here in the BBB database, they're not registered with the county, they're not registered with the state, and you're gonna have an easier time getting that removed from your credit report. But that's only if you use a collection repair agency or send the letters out yourself, not what we're doing here. But for the most part, they're gonna be here in the BBB database. So I'm gonna go back here to Credit Karma, copy the name of the business, back to the BBB, paste it there, see there it is. So is this complaint solely about buyer's remorse? No. It's not about buyer's remorse. So click on no to that question. So if you click on yes, they're gonna throw you to a different category and may not help you with what we're trying to do here. Same thing with these questions here. If you click on yes to any of these, it's gonna throw you somewhere else. On all these right here, you're also gonna click on no. So here you're gonna enter all your personal information. Okay, so did this issue occur within the past 12 months? Yes, it did. Does this complaint involve a health issue on a healthcare provider? No, it doesn't. All right, so here's where you're gonna enter why you believe this collection is falsely reported on your credit report. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to enter here. So first you're gonna type, I'm not liable for this debt with, and then you're gonna go back to your credit karma just to see what your original creditor is. So my original creditor is Charter Communications. So I put, I'm not liable for this debt with Charter Communications. And then you're gonna type, I do not have a contract with the collection agency trying to collect and reporting this to your credit report because you don't have a contract with this collection agency. You did not sign any paperwork with your collection agency, in my case being Southwest Credit Systems, stating that you'll pay them or owe them any money. So I do not have a contract with Southwest Collection Systems. Then we're gonna type, they did not provide me with the original contract as requested. So right here at the bottom, it gives you an option for desired resolution. So we're gonna click on other. So we're gonna type correction to my credit report. I demand this account be removed from my credit report. All right, so we're gonna go back up right here and we're gonna copy our complaint, our original complaint where we stated that we don't owe the money to the original creditor and we didn't sign into a contract with XYZ. We're just gonna have that sitting. We're gonna have that complaint copied. Okay, so we go to next, we're gonna submit this. All right, so from here, we're gonna to go to Experian.com. You can also use Credit Karma for this next step, but in my experience, Credit Karma just takes a little bit longer because they are a third party. You can also go straight through TransUnion or Equifax, but what I found is Experian is a little bit easier and a little bit faster to deal with. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. And if you don't have an Experian account, I will have a link in my description. It takes a few minutes to sign up and it's real easy. All right, so from the homepage, we're gonna click on Credit, scroll all the way down to Collections, identify the same account that we're working with, click on that. All right, so from here, we're gonna click on Dispute Account. And this next step is real easy. So we're gonna click start a new dispute and we're gonna go to Southwest Credit Systems. Select the reason for dispute. So what I chose was account not mine, no knowledge of account. Now remember, you didn't sign into a contract with XYZ Collection Agency. So that account is not yours. You had no knowledge of the account. So right here, what has the option to add a comment, we're gonna paste the same information we had from our previous complaint with the BBB. Go to next, submit the dispute and you're done. So down here, it's giving you the option to dispute with Equifax and TransUnion. You don't want to do that yet. If it comes back that your dispute was denied, now you want to try TransUnion, then you want to try Equifax. So I just want you to take note of something here. The credit score is 669. Today is 22223. This is the next day, 22223. 
the next day from filing those complaints, look at this, my credit score went up 23 points or this credit score, because this is not my credit score. This is something I'm helping somebody with. This credit score went up 23 points from 669 to 692 in one day from this credit score being fair to good. And then this also happened yesterday, account dispute updated. The dispute for the account with Southwest Credit Systems has been removed from your credit report. All this within 24 hours, inside 24 hours. So I'm going to the credit report to make sure this collection has been removed. We went from one collection to zero, big fat zero. So if you go back to Credit Karma, you're gonna notice that you still have the collection on your report. But once it's removed from that first credit report that we removed with Experian, your other two credit agencies, this case being Experian and TransUnion, will follow. It might take a few weeks, it might even take a month, but you will see them drop off that credit report. And all this without sending out letters and waiting. Again, this might not work for everybody. Everybody's credit situation is different, but why not try it, right? Try the easy stuff first, and if it doesn't work, then move on to the next step. Always try the easy stuff first. It took me only about 10 minutes to file both these disputes and I'm very happy with the results. So look, I hope you found this information helpful. Links for everything we covered today in the description. I wanna thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. Check you on the next one.